But hello again, pokey people! Lovely to see you! And lovely to see you over there on the other camera, but I can't be too loud. Because, well, you, you can tell from what I'm still wearing, what I am wearing. I filmed three videos in a row without moving, but it is getting a little late. And although normally Don't Wake the Neighbor would happen after midnight, she did specifically say it would be quiet after 10 p.m. And it is after 10 p.m. So it's Don't Wake the Neighbor time. Otherwise known as ASMR on a budget because I don't own a microphone yet. Someday, maybe I will. Someday. Okay. So for this episode of Don't Wake the Neighbor, we are opening up 10 packs of Pokemon Sword. Now, of course, I have almost everything from this. We're hoping for a Triple R Stonehenge, but any sort of form of Sword Doggo would be wonderful, and who knows? We could pull something absolutely incredible from this set, and, you know, we can enjoy some Kringle time. Kringle and Kringle. So let's just tear this one open. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> Kringle, Kringle time. I think the first of the three videos I filmed while sitting here, I was like, I'm trying not to crinkle because a viewer specifically said the crinkling was too much, and now I'm like, crinkle mode! It's called ASMR now! <laughs> okay, so we have, we have a Corviknight, we have a Rookadi, we've got a Clawboctopus? It's a Tataco, Tataco in Japanese. Krabu and we're starting off with a hollow Parusuan. Parusuan. Ah, uh, what's his name? What's his name? I keep wanting to call him Baltoy or like Balto or something, but that's not quite right. It's not quite the correct name of that doggo. He's an electric doggo and he's fancy. I feel like we're being too loud. That did not go as planned. silent. So quiet. No neighbor shall ever accuse me of being noisy. Ha 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 ha. We have a Damuberry, a Sinistee, a Guruki, a Galarian Stunfisk, and a Haunter. Very nice to see Haunter. I have a whole stack of cards beside me here. You can't see it off camera, but they're the ones from the last video sitting right beside these ones. Doing that thing. That thing that another YouTuber said in a rant somewhat recently where they were like, I hate when people write film in advance and it's like queued up and it's all lunar. And you know, sometimes I'm not a fan of it either, but sometimes I have a very busy work schedule. And it's just easier to film everything all at once when I'm sitting down. <laughs> also, I'm just very comfy right now. With my shawl, I got I got the kotatsu on. Maybe you can hear the little heater underneath humming away, keeping my my little Toes toasty. It's it's a wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful time here. We got a rookie that I already forgot the order of Mincino and Cinchino. Oh no, I think it's Mincino Cinchino. So that was a Cinchino we just put down. This It's fantastic, Mr. Fox Jr. <laughs> Kingler and we got a VMAX, so it is the triple R version of this guy that I need. Ishi Benjin. Eh? Ishi Benjin. I'm pretty sure. Ishi. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's. Oh no. Ishi. Oh my god. I can't even read katakana. That's how quiet we're being. I can't say a B sound. Ishi Henjin. That's what I think it is in Japanese. I could be completely wrong. As we all know, my Japanese is not great. Otherwise, I could communicate with my neighbor. For whose sake, we've made this series of videos <laughs> in which I am obnoxiously quiet. <laughs> Who knew you could be so passive-aggressively quiet? I didn't until I tried it. It's fun. I don't remember your name, but you're a very angry Squidward. Rosalia. Bachinuni. Let's go with his Japanese name. Usoki. And a red balloon. We just need 98 more of them, and then we'd be complete. Sometimes the packs don't want to rip open, and it's not fair. This one really doesn't want to go. There we go. 
So maybe something exciting in it. I mean, they're all exciting. But maybe this one's particularly crazy because it was like, no, I am going to be suspenseful. We have a Shinkan no Oko. I believe this is a evolution incense. I didn't know incense could make things evolve, but apparently it can. Sudowodo. Rookidi becomes... Algarasu. Let's just go with the Japanese name. Him so much. He's just so cute and adorable with his flopsy tongue. And another octopus. I feel like we're seeing this guy a lot. Of course, that happens when you only have 60 cards in the set. You're going to get a lot of doubles. So we are halfway through our 10 packs now. I feel like we're going really slow. Let's speed things up. Yeah. Being aggressively quiet. It's you again. He's everywhere. Otosubasu. Pasu. Otosubasu. Maybe we're not being quiet enough. That's why crazy, crazy things aren't showing up. We've got a Galarian Stunt Fisk. We've got a Yamper. Maybe a Sizzlepeed. And a Hollow. Uh, Gorilanda. Can't remember his English name right now, but that's okay. We're going to put the Gorilanda down here. And we're going to move on to pack number seven. Crinkle, crinkle. Just call me Chris Crinkle. I can be the patron saint of Christmas Pokemon cards or something like that. We got a uh, hyper potion, I believe. It's a Sugoi Mazukusudi. So I think I think that's a hyper potion. We got a Krabby. I don't think we're in focus. How long have we not been in focus for? Nobody knows. I don't, well, you know. I don't know. I wasn't looking at the Nikon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. We have a Krabby. We got a Rosalia. Ferrisseed. And a Thwacky. I can remember your name, but I can't remember the final evolution's name. I don't know why that is. This is pack number eight. Ba ba ba. Lucky number eight. Because eight is a lucky number. At least in Chinese culture? I don't know if it's lucky in Japanese. I think because it's looks like an infinity symbol, but it could be mistaken. It could be the word ba itself. I don't know. That is right, right? Ba? E-R sansa wo liu chi ba. Yes, ba, ba, ba is eight. <laughs> we have a ghastly. Minchino, because it, it's a mini and becomes a sinchino, right? Right. Dark Squall, help me out here. You're the one who had the idea. I think I remembered right. Did I remember right? Please tell me I remembered right. Krabby and... Another hollow. It is a Croagunk. No. Toxicroak. Toxicroak. There we go. Croagunk. Toxicroak. Croagunk. Toxicroak. Keep it straight in your head. Yes. Okay. We're getting a lot of hollows. We're still getting a lot of hits per pack. What the heck? How you like them crinkles? I just realized I said a lot of hits per pack. It's not hits per pack. It's a lot of hits for only 10 packs. For randomly chosen packs, the number of hits is high. Are high? Whatever. You know what I mean. We got a Poltergeist. We got a Ruckety. We got a maybe Club Octopus. Club Octopus. It's a very angry boxing cephalopod. Get over it. Shovel! I don't know why they like put an H in there. I just felt like I needed to. And... An evolution incense. Okay. It is our last pack. Pack number 10. We could get some last pack magic. But we have to be extra super quiet without being silent. That's the trick here. Okay. Let's see if we can do it. This is so much fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm just secretly a giant jerk and I enjoy being passive aggressive. We've got Beatty, Beetle, Minchino, Galarian Meow, with his giant furry beard, Slandit. And our last card is 
a not a sizzlepede. Or is it a sizzlepede? Centiscorch, right? Sizzlepede centiscorch, I think. I think I think that's it. Well, we didn't pull anything so crazy that would risk us disturbing the neighbor, which is good. I just realized my thumbs are Nope, they were. I thought they were going to be in focus, and they weren't. So I don't know if those cards were in focus. I hope they were, because I was looking over the camera at my hands and not at the cards. Sorry about it. So we got four pulls out of ten packs. We've got a Toxicroak. Can never remember your name, but you're a Godidanda in Japanese. Also struggle with your name. Parusuwan. Parusuwan. Parusu. Parus. Paruswan. Let's just go with Paruswan. That's the easiest way for me to say it. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. I'm sorry, Japan. And a... I can't say the names of any of the polls. I think it's Stojourner. Sto, Sto, Stojourner. But I want to go like Stojourner. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that J in the middle of the English name. But it is an Ishihenjin in Japanese. So I see it as some sort of a very funny play on words, because it's a stone henging. <laughs> Just trust me, it's like Stonehenge, but the gene at the end would make it human, so it's like human Stonehenge. Just, 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 I love it. Just, just hang in with me here, okay? We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. focus. Well, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We didn't hear anyone banging on a wall, so we didn't wake or disturb the neighbor in any way, shape, or form, and that is a win! Yay! I think we also won by getting some hollows and a v-card, so yay! Good times all around. Love and appreciate all you wonderful bulky people. My brain is broken. I always struggle with outros. I don't know if you've noticed that yet. It's not, it's not easy. And I can't get behind the whole doing the like, subscribe, comment thing. Because it just, it feels dis disingenuous to me. And I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. So I always get kind of stuck at the end here. Because I'm like, what do I do? What do I say? Besides thank you and you're wonderful. And I love and appreciate you guys. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Well, I guess, I guess that's it. That's, that's all we need to say, isn't it? So I guess we're done here. Um, I have a wonderful night. Don't disturb any neighbors. Hug an orange. And I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye-bye. Gotta be very, very quiet. Very quiet exit. Slow and steady wins the race. There we go. Bye.